I encourage you to get outside this afternoon. It'll be a little warm and muggy, but at least all the rain is moving out. We're settling into a nice warm summer-like pattern over the next few days. All that's left on Storm Team 6 radar is a few showers down near Brookville and Cincinnati, and they're pushing off into Ohio, and we're starting to see the skies clear on the western side of the state, and that should be the general trend throughout the afternoon hours as this warm front continues to start to lift to the north. Now, this area I circled here is where I think there could potentially be a few isolated storms that'll flare up throughout the afternoon noon hours as this warm front again slowly pushes in that northeasterly direction. If you're south of this front, I think we should remain completely dry throughout the course of the afternoon hours as you start to make your plans. And Truecast kind of depicts those showers trying to flare up as that warm front uh, continues northward. And it's just going to be a spotty downpour. I don't think it's as widespread as the thunderstorms we saw in northern locations earlier this morning. And here's a live look in Carmel and look at all that hazy sunshine. This bright blue sky will kind of become more filtered with haze as we go throughout the course of the next few days as the humidity really starts to increase. Right now, it's not all that bad at 58%. The dew point's at 62 degrees. That's a fairly comfortable number. But as these winds go more southerly, the humidity is going to come up and the temperature is going to come up as well. We're at 78 degrees right now in Indianapolis, but where the sun has been out all morning and afternoon long now, temperatures are in the 80s. 84 in Terre Haute, 83 in Lafayette. Rain cooled 74 in Muncie. And the eastern side of the state, you're going to be a little bit cooler throughout the course of the day today, but I do think Terre Haute and Bloomington, you'll climb into the 90s this afternoon. Should get up to about 89 degrees here in the city. It's going to be a pretty late high, though, right around 6 o'clock this evening. And you're also going to notice the humidity surge as we go throughout the afternoon hours, and it's going to become rather uncomfortable. Now, a lot of big events going on across the area this evening. Two outdoor ones, Zubilation and Houndmouth. Uh, the Italian Street Fest kicks off this evening. Look at these warm conditions all the way throughout the evening, even as the sun starts to set. Still in the mid-80s with partly cloudy skies. Now, tomorrow's the hottest day we have seen since last September. Starting off in the 70s, warming to 93. It's going to be very, very humid as well. Heat index values tomorrow will top off near 100 degrees as actual temperatures get up to 95 in Terre Haute as well as Bloomington, about 93 in Peru, 92 in Muncie. Sunday will be slightly cooler uh, at 90 degrees, but still well above normal marks, still very humid with the chance of an isolated storm. So to beat the heat, limit your time outdoors. Find air conditioning if you can a library, a mall, make sure you check on your friends and also your pets in this first heat wave of 2016. It does cool off a little bit next week, but still a very summer-like pattern, Mark, with lots of humidity and a daily chance of storms.